Hi, so this is going to be a tutorial for how to use um, a particular application called Geometry Sketchpad. Uh, this is really um, implementing something that my calculus students are going to uh, use and explore uh, what's called a tangent line problem uh, sometimes uh, in September. So you should have installed your software in the disk that's been provided to you on um, every uh, workstation in the career center. In my case, the software has been installed in the MSJ directory and it's labeled Sketchpad. So hopefully you've kind of uh, done the same thing from the, uh, the disk. You can put it somewhere where you know how to access it. So if you double click on that, you'll see a bunch of files and really the application we're going to use is GSP. It stands for Geometers Sketchpad. So if you double click on it, it comes up in the screen and you can maximize that and comes starts out with blank uh, blank screen if you want to open an existing one then you go open and then go search for wherever you put it okay all right so let's take a look at what uh, sketchpad all involves okay so first of all here you've got a menu bar up at the top okay so if you look at file um, these are the things you can do edit these are the things you can do and so on okay and the um, menu button that we're going to really use would be display construct measure graph window and so on so that's the menu bar is there and then on the left hand side here okay let me just move this out of the way uh, so it doesn't oh i, guess I don't know how to quite move it down. oh there we go okay nice on the left hand side here you've got several different tools so the tool with the arrow is called a pointing tool the tool with the dot is called a dot tool if you click on it it's selected and you can see that it brings up a dot and if you touch the screen somewhere it deposits a point there okay the next tool is a circle tool so yeah, you can draw a circle and we're going to be using that in a few minutes um, the tool after that gives you the option to draw a line. Uh, if you click on the arrow there, it should bring another menu up telling you whether you want to um, draw a line or a segment or a ray. Uh, this tool lets you label things or put text down. So for example, if I click on that, it labels the point. Okay. So we're going to be using some of these tools. Okay. I'm going to discard this starting out screen. Now uh, I need to go to points tool, go discard that. I don't want to save it. And then I'm going to go open a new one. Okay, there's open a new one. Maximize it. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is learn how to draw a circle and sequence and move points around with that. Okay. So, um, first of all, let's go and get a grid on this. Um, this is really not an artist's canvas. This is really. Um, a mathematician's canvas so we need a grid okay and we're going to do um not graph sorry um show grid okay right there so there's your grid you can resize the grid by dragging along like that okay so shrink it down or expand it the way you want and keep your two grids tied to be the same okay so in other words if you're going to graph and it tells you grid form uh, different options you can do polar square and rectangular keep it at square okay do not go to either of the uh, the other ones there okay so let's say that i want to draw a circle with the origin as the center and let's say if i want to define the radius to be four units so i'm going to put a point at four units okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a circle with this as the center uh, let me un unhighlight that. So notice what happens. Okay, when you go to point, and if it's kind of, um, kind of like highlighted or really blobby and and bold, then you can unselect it by hitting it again. Okay. So originally this point was also selected, and oops, right there I selected the line. So that point is selected, and you can see it's highlighted compared to the origin. And I don't want that. So what I want to do is I want to first of all define the center of the circle. So here's my center. And then I want to define how big the circle is going to be. In other words, its radius. So here's its radius. 
and then I'm going to go construct and it has a circle by center and point and boom it gives you a circle let's say you want to change its color so let's go into color and here you've got all your choices of colors in there if you want to make it thick or thin there are only three choices unfortunately for the line so let's say I want to make it thick okay so right there is my circle and say if I want to draw a secant so I'm assuming you guys remember your definition of a secant from geometry um, quite a few years ago so a secant is a, is a ray that goes from a point through a circle so let's see if I put my point here and I want to draw uh, a ray it's already highlighted I can go construct ray oops didn't work so let's go back and see what's happening here let's go and highlight that and I'm going to do construct so it doesn't want to do that for some reason um, see if I go do this tool here yeah. okay there's my ray actually you know what let's not do it this way uh, I'm going to go delete this and I can delete it by going to edit and cut okay so really what I want is I'm going to put another point on a circle remember to draw a ray I need two points okay um, so here's a let's uh, select something out let's say so <clears throat> I'm going to draw a ray from this point going through there okay and now if I go into construct I should see the ray option so right there it's a ray and the reason why I like it this way here is because it keeps this point on that circle there okay this point here on the circle so let's go ahead and label these points okay so here's my point A uh, you can make it bigger if you want um, go to style make it bold uh, make it 16 points and here's your circle uh, your point A and let's say I want to label this guy uh, double click on that style um, make it 16 uh, make it bold okay and there's my point B okay drag it so I can see that okay so right there the blue line that I just drew is a secant okay so you know the definition of that okay what we want to do is understand what a tangent is okay so if I move this point you can see it always stays on the circle no matter what you do no matter what you do it's going to stay on the circle okay so I want you to explore this and see what happens as the point B gets out uh, to there let's say and the uh, secant then uh, touches the graph at this one place okay and then it becomes a tangent okay so hopefully you remember the definition of a tangent there okay so that's all I want to show you in this particular clip um, this will be an exploration that you're going to do on your own okay just so that you get familiar with uh, uh, with geometry sketch pen okay uh, the next topic that I want to do is <clears throat> actually more pertinent to the investigation we're going to do uh, in this uh, couple of days okay in the next couple of days so let's go open a new sketch well let's go save this okay so let's go save as and uh, let's say if I want to do it on my desktop um, I will go to desktop save it there and you guys can probably do that as well and I'm going to